This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, in today's session, we will discuss about what is SCCM uh, in the basic details of SCCM, uh, the historical details of SCCM. Then we'll talk about the opportunities in SCCM. Okay. And then we'll discuss about how the training will be conducted, what all topics will be covered. So I hope you guys can see my screen. So let me introduce myself first. My name is Kashif. I am from India. I have uh, around uh, uh, total more than 13 years of practical IT experience. I have uh, expertise on multiple domains like SCCM, Intune, Application Packaging, Active Directory, Azure, PowerShell. Uh, I am a BSc IT graduate from Mumbai University and later on I started working as a system administrator. So I basically worked on uh, multiple uh, profiles. I uh, worked in uh, uh, service desk engineer then I worked as application uh, packaging I worked in application uh, packaging team then SCCM level 1 level 2 level 3 now I am working as SCCM architect so my uh, roles and responsibility is to implement SCCM in companies now and apart from that the in deployment and implementation I am involved in uh, in in this training uh, wherein i train on multiple uh, platform uh, multiple technologies so sccm is one of the one of them i trained more than uh, 13000 but it is now 16000 i trained more than 16000 students globally so side by side i am involved in the training and my primary roles and responsibility is to implement uh, sccm and companies here is my uh, website blog email address and skype id guys now let's go ahead and uh, discuss about the duration of this training this is going to be for uh, four weeks okay one month it is going to take to finish all the topics okay and uh, we'll do monday to friday monday to friday uh, daily 90 minutes like we are starting at 7 30 right 7 30 a.m to 8 45 a.m okay some days we might go up to 9 9 a.m but mostly we will finish within one and uh, one hour 15 minutes but some days we might go up to one hour 30 minutes so india time this is india time guys i hope everyone is from india okay if anyone from different country you need to uh, calculate in your time zone guys 7 30 monday to friday we will start and we'll finish before 9 a.m india time one and a half hour session four weeks it's gonna take one month now sccm started as sms the first name of sccm was what sms system management server this was the first name of sccm system management service started in 1994 microsoft released this 1.0 sms 2.0 was released in 1999 then sms 2003 then microsoft changed the name this is the second name instead of sms now we call it as system center configuration manager sccm that is the second name so sccm 2007 sccm 2012 SCCM 15.11. These are the three versions released in the year 2016. These three versions released in the year 2017. 
these three versions released in the year 2018 these three versions released in the year 2019 but microsoft changed the name again from sccm2 this is the third name mecm microsoft endpoint configuration manager that's the new name of sccm right <clears throat> so from october 2019 they changed the name to MECM, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, 1910. And these two versions released in the year 2020, MECM 2002, MECM 2006. These are the two versions released in the year 2020. And the latest and greatest version of SECM is 2010. MECM. 2010 and this is released when october 2020 last year okay so basically three versions released last year mecm 2010 this is the latest and greatest version 2010 understood any question from anyone Two zero one zero MECM Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. So it started from 1994 and it uh, two zero one zero last year, the latest version. So more than 25 years, this product is there in the market. 25 years. It's a matured product, guys and it is being utilized in thousands and thousands of companies all over the globe millions of devices are being managed by this product this is the third largest selling product of microsoft third largest selling product of the microsoft so first microsoft selling the top one is os microsoft is selling operating system that's the first one second microsoft is selling is office and the third one is this one mecm or you can call it as SECM. this is the third largest selling product of microsoft so opportunities wise it is very good it is evergreen because people are <clears throat> using this product all over the globe wherever you go almost every company got this SECM all almost all medium size and big size companies for us in a small size companies you might have something else like altres or land desk or, or semantic uh, sorry land desk or tanium uh, right but in big companies or medium size companies you have mecm or ssm certification was there but it is expired guys we don't have any certification for sccm at the moment okay we don't have any specific certification previously we had this one but that is expired uh, in 2019 so opportunities wise it's very good why it is good because it is there in the market for 25 years it's a matured product plus almost all big size companies and medium size companies have this okay why because you see 43 percent of market shares so wherever you go you will find sccm so if sccm is deployed hugely all over the globe then you also need administrators sccm administrators to work on that product right so that's the reason opportunities are good plus the other competitors you don't have many competitors for sccm like we have ibm big fix then you have land desk then you have alteris then you have tanium okay then you have workspace some these are competitors of sccm but but sccm is giant here sccm has got 43 percent of market share 
okay and people who are working on SACM profile they are earning good salary like 45 us dollar per hour in us canada australia in different countries not in india india the average salary is 8 lakh those who are in india they can expect a salary of 8 lakh per year indian rupees guys okay 8 lakh indian rupees that's the average salary you may be getting more you may be getting less than this but that's the average salary okay. it's good that people are earning good amount uh, the opportunities are there and people are also getting good uh, salary and uh, you you need to upload your resume on the local job portals like nokri monster uh, you know whatever the local job portals are there you have to upload your resume to start getting your uh, start getting SCCM related opportunities guys now there are three sites in SCCM central primary and secondary we will discuss these sites from tomorrow in when we start the session from tomorrow we are starting the actual training session so we will discuss all these sites in details what is central administration side what is primary side what is secondary side and everything okay now you understand the architecture there are three architectures for a small size company this is the architecture only one primary side will be there for medium size company you will have primary plus secondary and for big size company you will have central on the top then you will have more than one primary side like primary two primary three and you will have secondary side okay so this is for big size companies like accenture deloitte ibm for medium size company 99 percent of time you will get this kind of architecture in companies wherein you have one primary multiple secondary primary plus secondary now each site has a database secondary has a database primary has a database central has a database so the data replication happens from downward to upward so whatever the data secondary collects it is going to pass on to primary database whatever the primary database collects it is going to pass on to central administration side database okay then we have site roles which we will discuss from tomorrow onwards now we will discuss about the features and functionalities of SCCM there are many features of SCCM okay like from SCCM you can do asset and uh, asset inventory like hardware and software inventory you can do asset intelligence you can do uh, software metering like you can find out the usage of any application you can deploy application on one machine or thousands and thousands of machines you can deploy updates on one machine or thousands and thousands of machines you can deploy operating system you can manage content you can find out how many computers are compliant how many computers are non-compliant against some baseline you can find out the power management you can create the power policy to the devices you can check the client healthy uh, the client health whether the clients are healthy or unhealthy you can control endpoint protection the windows defender you know microsoft windows defender <clears throat> you can control that one you can manage mobile devices like android iphone ios devices role based administration you have um, you have multiple options multiple roles it depends on the expertise of the people we can assign certain roles to certain people remote management you can remote into users devices reporting monitoring these are some of the features and functionalities of SSM. there are many more but these are some of them okay now when we go in the training guys 
i want you guys to set up your lab we will do practical everything will be practical guys i don't believe in just theory knowledge i believe in theory plus practical so you sh i'll be giving you theory theory knowledge and then i'll take you to the practical lab so you will have to set up your lab which i will guide you step by step how you go about it but there are two labs either you go with this one local lab or if you are not able to go uh, if you don't have this configuration then you can use azure lab okay so for local lab you need to have minimum 12 gigabyte of ram you need to have quad core processor and then minimum 300 gb of free disk space that is needed to install sccm lab on your laptop or desktop but in case if you don't have this configuration then you go on cloud microsoft azure cloud or aws cloud or google google cloud any cloud uh, data center guys so you need to create a few machines in cloud like we will create four different machines and will remotely connect to these machines the machines will be located in either us or canada or australia or indonesia will remotely connect to those machines the only challenge here is you will get 30 days free trial in azure after 30 days you won't be able to access this these machines okay uh, otherwise you will have to start making payment you need to make uh, you need to pay to Microsoft then only Microsoft will let you allow will let you access these machines otherwise after first 30 days is free you don't have to make any payment uh, first 30 days you will be able to access them after 30 days you will have to make payment in case if you would like to continue otherwise you can create another subscription and create another 30 days free trial account again okay lab architecture will be like this we will have multiple computers like four different machines this is going to be domain controller the second one will be your sccm primary site server third will be your database server and fourth will be your client machine windows 10 all will be connected on the same lan network so that they can talk to each other okay any question from anyone guys Hmm? Any question? Imran, Anil, Siva, Tanvir. Sir, uh, we can do that. Uh, I mean, uh, we will learn about uh, all troubleshooting, sir, in SSCM. Yes, yes. We will. Uh, I will uh, take you to the important log files. For example, application deployment, troubleshooting, software updates, deployment, uh, monitoring and troubleshooting, then operating system deployment. So all the important log, log files plus server side troubleshooting, client side troubleshooting plus server side troubleshooting. The common ones, okay. right? Because the, the error can be anything. The common issues which we face. Okay, but I mean, in comes to the okay. interview point of view, they are asking in different scenarios. If yes. I mean, if we are in the middle it of will, the course, if I, sorry, it will be based on the it with the session is based on the uh, scenario itself. So I'll be giving multiple scenarios and uh, whatever we are using in companies, okay, so that you will be able to crack the interviews as well. Yeah, recently I updated my profile, uh, so I'm looking for a job, sir. Uh, I faced uh, two interviews also. They're asking in the, I mean, uh, not in only theory, they're asking in troubleshooting in different point of view, so, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, don't worry, you will get more confidence. And the more you do the practice and the assignment, you will get, uh, you know, more more knowledge on this. And you'll be able to crack the interviews. But the only thing is, 
you won't be able to get right away it will take time like at least two three months uh, because you are new right you don't Sir. have any it background mm. no i don't have any it background i'm new yes. so so you will take time understood yeah okay sir and uh, i mean uh, they give they are asking in uh, data replication also sir in troubleshooting i mean uh, if they are not getting the content from dps and not communicating to the mp then how can you do the troubleshooting this type of questions they are asking okay no worries we will we will uh, discuss those things as well no worry okay 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 thank you no worries any question tanveer Imran, Anil. Uh, hi, Kashif. Imran here. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you said uh, the Microsoft is not, not conducting any exam for this SCCM, right? Right. So, uh, may you know when they will conduct this exam? Any estimation? Um, I, no estimation as such. Okay. But it's been like one and a half years now. So, okay. We don't have any exam at the moment. Okay, we'll is wait it, for uh, exam. Huh? Okay, is it necessary to go with that exam so we can get no? the good job in this? No, pre we don't have exam. So how will you give exam? Previously, we used to have seventy okay. hyphen seven zero three two forty three. I took those exams, but mm -hmm. now we don't have any exam. Okay. 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 So you from tomorrow onwards we will start um, from seven thirty India time, guys. Okay. Seven thirty India time. Everyone from India or anyone from outside. Okay, I think everyone is from India itself. 7.30. So if if you guys are interested to continue from tomorrow, you will need to enroll to this course. Okay. So you need to enroll. Uh, you need to make payment and then enroll to this course. So from tomorrow onwards, we can start in full-fledged. So... Any question from anyone? For enrollment, you have to. Uh, Anil, you received the the meeting link from where? From myself? Or from yeah, I receive it on the WhatsApp, by the way. WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, Imran, you got it from my end. What's up? Uh, yes, Kashif. You only sent to me. Tanvir? Hello? Tanvir? Actually, uh, yes. Tanvir is my brother. I only sent uh, to him. Both, uh, both of you interested in this. Okay. Okay, yes, both yes. of you. He's also interested in this, so I think to him. Okay, understood. Uh -huh. So you guys need to uh, reply on the same message that you are interested. Then we'll let you know the enrollment process. OK. OK, guys, we'll meet tomorrow uh, 730. Uh, I hope the session was informative and we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you.